Hello, kings and queens, to all of my brothers and sisters who will come across this video. My name is Sharika. To all of the new subscribers, welcome, welcome. It is such a pleasure to have you here on this platform. I deliver different messages from Yahuwah, our Father in Heaven, to each of his children. Um, the subjects vary, so there's just no telling what the messages may be about. But welcome to Impacting Windows. I am here to impact your windows, your eye gates, and your ear gates. Um, I thank you so much for um, returning again to all the new subscribers and to all those who have been here with me. So today I just wanted to come on and really allow Abba to do whatever he wanted to do. I originally wanted to come on here to pray concerning the kingdom marriages. This is a walk that is not, hmm, it's not for the faint at heart, you know? Um, I would say that it's not for the weak, but you know, we're not always called to be strong. Whenever we are weak, that is whenever we are truly strong. So it's not even about that, but it is just about being that willing vessel and that whenever you say yes to this kingdom assignment, which means that you've been given the promise of marriage and you've been standing for that thing. Maybe it's been six months and so you're new to it. Maybe it's been three years, six years, 10 years, however long it's been, but it is so important for us to stay committed no matter what that journey looks like, no matter how long it takes. We know that in the um, proper time, Abba is so faithful to make sure that his word comes to pass. And his word says in, I believe, Isaiah 55 and 11, that he watches over his word to make sure that it does not return to him void, but that instead it accomplishes everything that he has sent it out for. And so I just want to come on here and I would like to pray for those who are standing for their kingdom marriages. And what I would like to just be of some type of encouragement to you. So without further ado, um, let's proceed. And before I got on here, I did pray and I invited the Ruach HaKadosh, which is our Father's Holy Spirit, to take over and for it to be all of him and none of me at all. So I did already pray. So let's go ahead with this prayer. Abba, we come to you right now in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I come to you, Abba, and standing and interceding for each and every single one of your sons and daughters who have you have who you whom you have called to kingdom marriage i'm asking you right now abba in the name of your son yeshua hamashiach that you would strengthen each and every single one of your sons and daughters i thank you abba for this 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 great platform this great mantle the, the kingdom marriage abba that is such a high calling abba a calling that could only be made by you and we thank you so much for this and right now Abba, i'm coming to intercede on behalf of each and every single one of your sons and daughters who are weary who are who are tired abba you said in your word for us not to get weary in well-doing for if we do not faint we will reap a harvest in due season abba help us not to faint abba i know that i am not the only one that is tired in this walk abba in this fight in this battle for uh to to win over the souls of your sons and your daughters abba so right now i'm asking for a, a rejuvenation abba replenish us abba I'm asking you right now that every single wickedness that has come up against our, our, our kingdom husbands, our kingdom wives, Abba, I'm asking you right now that you would consume up those wicked spirits. I'm asking that you would come into the environments, the, the spaces, the places, the vessels of each and every single one of us, your children, Abba, and I'm asking that you would have your way again. Consume up every single darkness, every single wickedness, Abba, that is attached to uh, our, our spouses, those that, that you have us standing in the gap for, that you have us interceding for, Abba. I am asking that you would consume up every single wickedness that is tied to them, every single generational curse, hindrance, bondage, hex, 
that is up on them, every single demonic chain, every single demonic yoke that is around their necks, Abba, I'm asking for it to be destroyed, for it to be removed in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I am asking for a great, a deep rooted awakening in your sons and your daughters, those that we are standing in the gap for, Abba. I am asking you right now to remove the veil from their eyes, from their minds, from their hearts, from their spirits, any part where there is a veil, a covering, Abba that is having them to be blinded from your truth, from your light, Abba. I'm asking that that would be removed right now, Abba. I am asking you right now that every single premature spiritual death that has been spoken against these kingdom marriages and our kingdom spouses right now, that it would be made null and void in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I decree and declare that it is imputed right now, that it is lifeless. And right now I reach into the spirit and I uproot every single wicked thing, every single demonic seed that has ever been spoken against any of your sons and your daughters, Abba, and concerning these kingdom marriages, I uproot it, I bind it up in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I cast it down to the pits of hell never to return. And I loose down the words, the things in which you have spoken over us. I loose down your longevity of life, Abba. I, I loose down from heaven, Abba, the rejuvenation, Abba, the strengthening of your sons and of your daughters, Abba. I decree and declare the day that we shall live and not die in order to perform the callings, the things in which you have called us to do for your name's sake, Abba. I thank you, Abba, in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, for sending out angelic hosts, those who are compatible with each and every single one of your sons and daughters with the word by which they may be saved, Abba. I'm asking you right now to strip, to remove, to uproot every single person that is connected to their lives, that is in their lives that should not be, Abba. Every single every single marriage, and I was going to say relationship, but every single marriage that, that, that your sons and daughters have entered into that is of the flesh, Abba, that is not of you, I'm asking that you would bring them out of it right now. Sever these cords at the root every single cord, every single connection that they have to this person or to these people, whether they are married to them or not, Abba, I'm asking for there to be a complete severance at their roots, that there would be no longer, that there would no longer be any ties connecting them, Abba. I'm asking for these marriages to come to a swift end, Abba. These marriages that are the enemy, these marriages that the enemy has set up to be a distraction, these marriages that the enemy has set up to be a hindrance to your sons and your daughters, those that you have actually called into kingdom marriages. I thank you, Abba, for this great release, Abba. I thank you for Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee. I decree and I declare and I prophesy Jubilee over these marriages, over these sons and daughters of yours who are prodigals, Abba, those who you are bringing back to, to, to you, Abba. <coughs> Excuse me, I've had an upper respiratory infection. <coughs> and I thank you right now, Abba, in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, for, for, the, for the return of your sons and your daughters to you. Father, we get so many congratulations on, on our end concerning the, the marriages. Congratulations on your marriage. Congratulations on your husband and your wife coming back to you and things like that, the reconciliation. But glory, hallelujah to you, Abba. Congratulations to you on the reconciliation of the relationships between you and your sons and your daughters, Abba. Glory, hallelujah to you. Congratulations. You have done it, Abba. You have done it. You have done it again glory. Hallelujah to you in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you, Abba, for revealing every single snake, Abba, every single wicked spirit that is around our kingdom spouses that they have no idea about. I am asking that you would rear its ugly head and that you would even cut the head off of that Goliath, off of that snake, off of that wicked spirit that is around, that is surrounding our, our kingdom spouses, Abba. I am asking you, Ruach HaKadosh, to advertise Abba, ab, uh, advertise our Father to our kingdom spouses. I'm asking that you would advertise Yeshua HaMashiach to our kingdom spouses. I am asking that you would advertise us to our kingdom spouses. I am asking that you would advertise Abba's word to our kingdom spouses. Bring us into connection, Abba, with our husbands, Abba, with, the, with your sons, into the relationships with the, the wives that you have called them to, to be with with Abba in their due season, Abba, not outside of season. May we not awaken love 
before it's time, but may we wait on you, Abba. Have your way in every single one of our lives and these 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 beautiful love stories that, that, that you have written personally with your own hand, Abba. Glory, hallelujah to you. Help us to keep pressing in, to keep moving forward, no matter what it looks like. Help us to not look at it. Help us to not look at the 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 the, the, the things that are going on around us, the storms, Abba. Help us not to pay attention to that, to to the things that our kingdom spouses said that hurt our hearts, Abba. For those of us who know who our kingdom spouses are, the things they have said and done that has hurt our feelings, Abba. Help us to 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 look past that. Help us to to forgive them, to to be able to move forward, Abba. Help us to focus on you, Abba. Just as Peter stepped out of that boat to, 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 to walk towards your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, may we step out of the boat and keep our eyes focused on you and not the storm so that we would not drown, so that we would not sink, but help us to keep our focus, Ruach HaKadosh, on Yeshua HaMashiach and continue in fervent, steadfast prayers and petitions for, for the husbands, for the wives, for those that we have been called to stand in the gap for. I thank you that our prayers, that our, that our standing, that our suffering, that our tears are not in vain, Abba. Glory, hallelujah to you. I thank you right now for those who are right now in their marriage season, Abba. I thank you for bringing it to pass speedily, speedily, rapid, rapid, rapidly, rapidly, Abba. In the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. And again, I speak and I plead the blood of your son over each and every single marriage, over each and every single engagement. And right now, I just heard engagement in this spirit. Glory, hallelujah to you, Abba. In the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, for the engagements, for the the engagements. Glory. Hallelujah to you, Abba. Congratulations for each and every single one of you who are now who just got engaged or for those of you who are getting ready to be engaged. I just heard engagement in this spirit. So again, glory. Hallelujah to you, Abba, for these engagements that have already happened and that are getting ready to come forth. So stay, um, stay at Abba's feet. Continue praying, fasting, uh, and fasting as led by um, his Ruach HaKadosh. And may we just continue to stand on his word and what it is that he has spoken. Our times are coming. Stand fast. It is not in vain. I love each and every single one of you. Move every single day by the leading of our father's Ruach HaKadosh. You have come this far. Do not stop. Do not turn around. Your husband, your wife, they need you. Nobody else is equipped for this job, for this task. It is you are the one. You are the one that's equipped for this. Abba has put everything within you for this specific person. Don't turn around. He's getting ready to blow your mind and you're getting ready to say it was all worth it. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. So again, congratulations in advance, whenever your time comes. And again, for those whose season is right now, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And again, and again, we are all in this together. So you have power. You are power. You are a powerhouse. Go out and light up the world and everything that is in your path. I love each and every single one of you. And I will see you next time in the next video. Love you.